now we are going to have an interesting discussion on the next topic that is simple past tense we use the past simple when an action or situation happens and finishes in the past we usually say or know when it happened so as it is very much clear by its name then when we talk about the events or the actions which happened in the past time which is over now which has gone then we use the simple past tense as you can see the table i have drawn the table to tell you that we use the same form of the verb with all the persons in simple past tense so i worked we worked you worked you worked he she it worked and they worked now before moving further it's very important to ek minute to revise different forms of the verb in simple past tense we use past form or second form of the verb right as you can see on the chart paper i have used some of the commonly used verbs and i i have also written their different forms so over here it's again very important to understand that verbs are also known as regular verbs and irregular verbs now you need to remember that regular verbs are the verbs which end with ed as you can see the first word uh, verb laugh laughing laughed laughed ed so it is a regular verb now there are some verbs which totally completely change their form in past and past participle and some of the examples of those verbs are write for example write wrote written break broke broken right see saw seen so those verbs which completely change their form are known as irregular verbs so in past and past participle forms of the verbs when we use them in different tenses sometimes we have to use a regular verb and sometimes we use irregular verbs again to understand the regular and the irregular forms of verbs you need to memorize them you need to consult the dictionary and you can from there very easily learn and memorize the past and past participle forms of regular and irregular verbs so after understanding that in uh, simple past tense we use past form of the verb now we will now we will learn the different or you can see ki most commonly uh, uh uses uh, the uses of simple past tense so first of all the first common use of simple past tense is definite time in the past so we use the past simple to talk about definite time in the past when we specify when something happened for example yesterday 3 weeks ago last year when i was young now i would like to explain them further with the help of some examples so you can understand them better for example did you watch that film yesterday now i am asking someone about a movie that did he watch it yesterday yesterday specifies that i am talking about a time which is over now right uh, another example he left at the end of november so i'm talking about a month which is over now and the next month has started when they were young they loved chocolates so when we specify the time then when in the past then we use simple past tense the other use of simple past tense is then we use it for single or habitual events or states for example we can use it to talk about single uh, singular single or regular events or states in the past for example i can give you one example for a one time event he fell off his bike and his friends took him to a doctor so it is a one time event that he fell off his bike and his friend came to help him out and uh, help him and they took him to the doctor we also use the simple past tense to talk about 
uh, more you can see uh, for the more habitual events for example as children we played all kinds of games on the streets so now we are talking about um, a pastime action which happened repeatedly right so when they were children they loved to play games on the streets so it's a, a more frequently happened event in the past now we also use the simple past tense to talk about any state in the past for example did you feel afraid so when you ask someone about when for example someone was hiking that were you in the state of being afraid when you were hiking so when we talk about a state in the past time we also use simple past tense the other use that you can see the most common one of the uses of simple past tense is when we use it for the order of events in the past for example when one past event happens after and other so we describe it using simple past tense for example i turned off the light and got into bed so you can see in this example i turned off the light and got into bed both uh, events happened in the past right so we are going to explain them they as they um, happen one after another in one order so we are going to express them using simple past tense that first i turned off the light and then i got into bed so these are the main uses of simple past tense before moving further it's very important to understand now students we learn the sentence structure in affirmative negative and questions of simple past tense for the affirmative or the positive sentences first come the subject then we use second form of the verb or past form of the verb and then comes the object in the negative sentences first comes the subject then for the negative sentences we use did plus not right over here uh, you need to focus to understand that we are using did did is the past form of do do did done so as we are already using past form of the verb do so we need not to use past form of the main verb so as we are using did so after this main verb will come in its first form because did is already doing the responsibility of being a uh, simple past in the sentence so first comes the subject then we will use did then not for the negative sentence and then we are going to use first form of the verb and then comes the object now we'll move to the question sentences for this we are going to use did which is the helping or the auxiliary verb in simple past tense which we always use with the uh, main verb so first we are going to use, to use did then comes the subject and as we all uh, are already using did when it's uh, which is the past form of the verb do so we are going to use first form of the main verb and then comes the object so these are the main structure of the positive negative and the interrogative sentences in simple past tense and with practice you can easily understand them and you can do them better now students i hope that you all of you are enjoying the lectures with your books in your hands right so before moving further i would like to um do exercise 1 with you so look at page 146 of your unc books as we are doing lesson 11 Question number one is fill in each blank with the simple present or simple past tense of the verb in brackets. As you see the exercise, you can see that the, all the verbs are given in brackets, and it's a mixed exercise of simple present tense and simple past tense. And with the help of the time frame used in the sentences, you will identify that whether to use simple present tense or simple past tense. So let me help you. to solve out one or two sentences and then you will be doing it on your own and then you will be able to judge yourself or you can uh, do the cross checking with your friends right online 
to see whether your sentences are correct or not. So look at sentence one. He dash, the verb in bracket is be. Okay, do you remember I told you about the be verb when we use it as the main verb? And I told you that be is like a sun and its rays are the different verbs like is, am, are, was, and were. So he dash a student in this school two years ago. Now look at this sentence. I always used to ask my students that read the sentence carefully and look at the time specified in the sentence. So you can see over here two years ago is used. Two years ago means a time which has passed away. It, uh, it no longer exists, right? So we are talking about a past time. So it means, yes, can you guess it? Which form of the verb be we are going to use here? Do you remember? Yes. One of the advantage of the um, lecture videos is this, that you can replay them and you can try to uh, grasp uh, the concept of different lectures again and again. So you must know that as this sentence is in simple past tense, so we are going to use past form of the verb be, that is was. So he was a student in this school two years ago. Next sentence. Many visitors dash to this resort every month and the verb in the bracket is come. Every month is the time period mentioned in this sentence and every month shows that we are talking about an action which happens, right? Irregularly or in routine. Can you guess it? Do you remember? Yes, yes, yes. We talk about the routines or the you can see any action which happens in routine using simple present tense. Many visitors, it means it's a singular subject or a plural one? Yes, it's a plural subject. So we are going to use first form of the verb. Many visitors come to this resort every month. I hope that this is going to help you and you will be able to solve rest of the sentences on your own.